Tēnā no tātou katoa. I call Harite Hipango. E te māngai. E mihi ana ki ngā uri, o te iwi me ngā hapu, o te rohe o te wairoa. Nau mai hare mai i tēnei wā, i roto i te whare. Tēnei te wā o te auhau. I stand to speak as a new member of Parliament, the elected member for Whanganui, and importantly, I am Uri of Whanganui, and my marae, Putiki Wharanui, a tamatea pōkai whenua, is my connection and my association to Ngāti Kahungunu. I am also of Ngāti Apa, Ngā Rauru and Ngāti Rangi. So I stand here today as a new member of Parliament, but also as a member of the Māori Affairs Select Committee and tasked with the duty and responsibility now as an agent of the Crown to acknowledge within your bill, soon to be passed into law, the history, the acknowledgements, the apology, and importantly, the way forward, the future. I have limited time with this call this afternoon. However, as I look upon those of uh, our people of Ngāti Kahungunu, Te iwi, Ngā Hapu, o Te Rohe o Wairoa, gathered here today, I'm heartened because I see the generations, those of us who have come from a time that has been carried through with your young here today. I am heartened by that and the hope in moving forward that this bill, once it is passed into law, will provide us a vehicle. It is a piece of law that acknowledges reprehension, the wrongness, the injustice of the history that is outlined at section 8 and 9 within the historical context and the acknowledgements of this bill, clause eight and nine, soon to be sections, the reprobation. It outlines also reparation, restoration, the redress, the relationships, the relationships that have been identified in under the cultural redress component of the bill, and then, importantly, revitalisation. This encompasses all of those things. I refer to Clause 10, the apology, at subclause F. And it states that the Crown seeks to restore its tarnished honour and to atone for its past failures, to uphold the principles of the treaty, and with this apologises and acknowledges this in the settlement, hoping to build a new relationship that will endure for current and future generations. Now is the time to focus on that future, not forgetting the past, not forgetting, forgetting the journey that has been traversed to get here. Now is that te ao ho, a new chapter, a new beginning. As said, it is promising and it is heartening to see the multi-generational gathering of Ngāti Kahungunu here today. It acknowledges the efforts of all those who have gone before their aspirations to be carried through into the future with the young ones here. So, Madam Speaker, I am humbled and I'm immensely privileged, and that is one of the absolute bonuses of this role as a member of MP, to be able to address the House and those who have gathered in seeing the final passage 
of these wrongdoings, moving forward with hope into the future. Madam Speaker, I conclude by commending this bill into its final passage to be made law. Tēnā tātou katoa. Madam Speaker. I call the Honourable Pini Hinari. E te māngai o te whare ka noho tonu a hau ki roto i te reo māo.